Hello there, welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're on paper two and we're going through question two. So, the speed of a small jet aircraft was measured every five seconds starting from the time it turned onto the runway until the time it left the ground. The, the results are given in the table below with the time in seconds and the speed in meters per second. Using all of this information, estimate the length of the runway used by the jet to take off. Okay, so if I've got a graph, and this is obviously a graph that's been measuring uh, speed against time, and it seems like it's increasing. At 0, it's 2. At 5, it's 5. At 10, it's 10. At 15, it's 18. So it looks like the speed is increasing. Now, if I want to work out the length of the runway, I need to integrate this speed curve. In other words, work out the distance underneath the graph. So what I can do here is this is actually a trapezium rule question because I need to work out the area under my speed time graph to be able to work out the length of the runway. So just a reminder then, the um, trapezium rule is area equals h divided by 2, open brackets, y0 plus yn plus 2 lots of y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus dot, 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 plus y, n minus 1. Okay, so what h refers to is the gaps in the bars, in the, sorry, not the gaps in the bars, but the widths of the bars, because um, the trapeziums are effectively on their side. So the width of the bars is going to be 5. So it's 5 over 2, and then y0 is this one here. This is y0, so that's 2. Y n is this one up here. In this case, n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. n is 6. This is y 6. So it's 2 plus 42 plus 2 lots of 5 plus 10 plus 18 plus 28. And now we'll go to our calculator and type that all out onto the calculator and we get 415. Okay, so there we are. So given that the jet accelerates smoothly in these 25 seconds, explain whether your answer to part A is an underestimate for the overall length of the, of the runway. Um, explain why it's an underestimate or an overestimate. Let's draw this graph a bit clearer. It starts at 2, then it goes to 5, 5, then 10, 10, then 15, 18, then 28, 20, 28, in 2542. So with the graph, if it's accelerating smoothly, it's going to be doing something like that. But if I draw my trapeziums on the graph, then it's clear here that my actual line is going to be underneath the trapezium lines. So what I've done here is an overestimate. And it's only one mark, so I don't need to explain it. Overestimate. Uh, because the, the the trapeziums that I've actually worked out are greater in area than the actual distance under the curve because the curve line is slightly underneath the trapezium diagonal. Okay, there we are. That's the answer to question two then. Let's move on to question three.